Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Civil Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about to draw the shear force and bending moment of this overhanged beam. You can see here, the one is the hinge support at the left end, the one is the roller support at the middle of the beam, and the other portion is hanged. So we call this type of the beam as the overhanged beam. And you can see here, at the load of 2 kN per meter is applied on the hanged portion of the beam. The total length of the beam is 9 meter while the 5 meter without load and 4 meter with the uniformly distributed load. So let's consider the two supports, we name them as A and B. To draw the shear force and bending moment diagram, first we have to uh, find a support reaction. So I call at the, let's suppose this is the RA, right? I suppose that this is the RA and I suppose that this is the RB. Support reactions are acting in the upward direction. I call them R A and B. Now the load is acting on the work only on the hand portion. So to find the support reaction, first I will take the summation of moment at point A is equal to zero. And I suppose that the clockwise moment is positive. So the two kN per meter load is acting, and if I suppose the moment at A is equal to zero, so this moment will act in the clockwise direction. You can see here this moment, the concept the concentrated load of this uniformly distributed load will act in the clockwise direction, so it will be taken as positive. So, how to calculate? The 2 kN per meter into 4 and the distance of 4 meter and the moment arm is, how much the moment arm? The 5 one is this and the half of this, 2 meter. Because the uniformly distributed load always acts at the center, so the 2 kN per meter load we can calculate its moment arm like the 2 meter this one the half of the 4 meter and the 5 meter the left side so the total moment arm will be 7 5 plus 2 so this will be the moment arm for the uniformly distributed load acting in the clockwise direction now the other one is the rb which acts in the anti-clockwise direction you can see here that it is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so i suppose it's minus 5 rb is equal to zero because this force cannot produce any moment it's acting on the same point so i can calculate it as the rb 5 rb is equal to the 56 so rb comes out to be 11.2 kilonewton now how to find the ra so i can easily found out a summation of phi is equal to zero so the ra is acting upward rb is also acting up upward while the this uniform distributed load is acting downward 2 into the and the distance on which it is distributed so 2 is the force and the distance is 4 meter so 2 into 4 8 so we can say that the RA plus RB will is 11.2 minus 2 4 8 equal to 0 so RA comes out to be if I move this on the right side so it comes out to be minus 3.2 kN now what this minus sign shows it shows that your assumed sign which was in the upper direction is against is against your answer so I should change it in the downward direction this one so now my RA is like 3.2 kN in downward direction while the RP I can write it R my RB is 11.2 kN so these are my respective support reactions for the given loading now I will draw the shear force and bending moment from the respective support reaction. So to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram, first I will uh, draw the reference lines for the shear force and bending moment. Uh, this is the respect to reference line for the shear force. I can write it the shear force here in kilonewton. So to draw the shear force diagram, the support reactions are known to us. This was 11.2 kilonewton, right? So I can draw it downward because the support reactions here is acting downward so I can make it in the downward direction and it is 3.2 kN right the magnitude is 3.2 kN and then there is no load acting so there is no load acting here in this portion so it will be like same and then RB is 11.2 kN so I will uh, make it 11.2 uh, 3.2 minus 11.2 so it comes out to be 8 right 
at this portion because the 3.2 is acting in the downward direction. So minus 3.2 plus 11.2, it comes out to be plus 8. So it comes out to be plus 8 here. And then uh, the load acting in the downward direction and the, there is no support reaction to so 0. So I will bring it in this way. 0 kN. 3.2 kN acting downward and then there is no load acting up to 5 meter, up to 5 meter you have no load so then again your support reaction is 11.2 so minus 3.2 is your downward and plus 11.2 so I get plus 8 so plus 8 acting in the upper direction and then the load acting downward so it will minimize up to 0 because there is no support reaction so 0 kN will be your shear force at the end of the beam, at this end of the beam this was the shear force so now to draw the bending moment diagram uh, as we know, as we know from the shear force diagram that this uh, portion is acting uh, negative and this is positive. So first of all, I will also draw the reference line for the bending moment diagram. This is my reference line for the bending moment, and so I can write it here: the bending moment in the unit of kilonewton into meter because the, all the units taken are here kilonewton in meter. So the bending moment will also be in the unit of kilonewton meter. So the reference. And these are the, some of the important points, so I can mark this uh, with the line. Now to draw the bending moment diagram, we should draw it from the shear force diagram. So you can see here that the shear force is acting downward from the reference line. This 0 and 0 is acting downward. So our moment diagram will also be acting downward. So 3.2 is the depth of this rectangle and the length of this rectangle is 5 meter. So multiplying the 3.2 with the 5 meter, we get 16. So the bending moment will also be acting downward because shear force is acting downward. So minus 16 uh, in the unit of kN meter is my bending moment up to this point because my rectangle was up to this 5 meter. Now the other triangle, now this is triangle acting in the upward direction. So my bending moment will be positive. So how to find this area of triangle? Half into the length is 4 and the height is 8. So I get again 16 plus 16. So, multi so adding the minus 16 with the plus 16, we get 0. So this is my bending moment diagram from the respect to shear force diagram. Just by uh, knowing the area of this rectangle and the area of this triangle, we can easily get the, we can easily draw the shear bending moment diagram from your respect to shear force diagram. And consider, and also remember that this is your shear force of 0 degree and the shear force is a 1 degree line so your bending moment should must be greater of 1 degree than the shear force so this is 0 degree this will be 1 degree line linear this is 1 degree so this will be the quadratic 2 degree line the moment are 0 with respect to 2 ends because there are no uh, fixed support to resist the moment so hope you guys understand how to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram from your respect to a uh, given beam and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos Thank you for watching my video.